Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to set up a self-hosted photo and video server using image now this particular server is going to be stored on your local network and we're going to be using a nas for this which is a network attached storage uh, which we're going to be using the ugreen version here but to set this up you can back all your photos up from your phone to this you won't have to pay any sort of expensive fees for storage like a google photo and things like that this is going to be 100 percent free and you can also be more secure because it's on your local network and no one's going to see all of your data so if you want to set this up we're going to be doing this on the ugreen uh, network attached storage device i've already got docker and portainer installed onto this network attached storage device so if you want to know how to do that check out some of my previous videos and it will show you how to get that set up so you can just then move on to this stage i was going to make a complete video on the whole process but unfortunately i think that would have been too much for some people putting docker on then portainer on and then going to image so first off we're going to go over to the image website here and you can see it gives you some information on what you need to do here uh, I'll show you on the screen what we're going to be doing. But basically what you're going to need to do is head over to the GitHub repository and download that file. And it then needs to be edited like you can see on the screen right here. So the download link is actually on that page. I'll leave a link for that in the video description for you. And you can head over. So I've downloaded the actual file and here it is right here. So I'm going to need to make some edits on this particular uh, image uh, document here so let's go ahead and amend it like it's telling me to do on their website so all you need to do is follow along on their actual website and then just open up the document like i have here and then you can edit it the way they're telling you to do so i'm going to amend this bit here which tells me to add the word stack so let's go ahead and do that right here and we can change this blank spot here so i'm going to type stack.env and that's exactly what it needs to be and then we need to navigate down and look for other areas that need to be changed and there's another area right here that i need to change so i'm going to put stack.env here and we also need to have a quick look through the document to make sure everything else is okay once you're happy with all of your edits all you need to do then is highlight all of this content here going to right click here going to copy it now on my network attached storage my nas what we're going to do here is go to the portainer address in the bar which i've already done and we're going to add a new stack in the stack section right here so add a new stack and just like so we now have a new stack created but we need to give it a name so we're going to call this say image and then we're going to edit the actual document here so that you can see it's uh, already ticked on web editor so let's give this a name and we can then add in our text. So I'm just going to call this image here. And then down in this bottom web editor part here, we're going to paste in all of that content that we just edited. So let me go ahead and do that here by right clicking and pasting all of that content inside here, just like so. So let's click paste and that should have all of the content from that document. Then we just need to scroll down a little bit to the environment variables section right here. And inside the environment variables section, there's a little section right here called advanced mode. And we need to go into advanced mode just below here. And you'll see it right here because this will open up another area where we can add in some code. So let's go ahead and click on that right there. And once we've done this, you can see it's opened up this little box here. And we're just going to paste this content in like so and once we go back to simple mode here you'll see it's going to basically give us this little area right here where we can add in our database password a database username and so on you can get this information from the github website right here and you can download the file right here it's a sample uh, .env file you can use complex ones if you want to that's the one i'm using for this video but again, I'll leave all this information in the video, video description. You can see right here, it tells you what to do on this actual page. And it gives you the link to the GitHub websites there. So I'll just link to this article and you can just download the, the required files from there. OK, and what's important here is you need to change the default uh, database password, the database uh, location and also the upload location and you can do that by going into your network attached storage here inside the files here 
and then shared folder docker and then you can see i've already got the image set up here and i've got a bunch of files that i've added in uh, here and that's all you need to do is put those files in uh, like so and all we need to do now is basically tell our image setup the location path for that particular uh, file uh, or folder inside of our network attached storage you can see upload area and it just says dot forward slash library here you can actually change this to the actual path if you wanted to and change the actual path of that uh, location and the same thing goes for the data location and so on so once you've created all your folders here you can go upload which is i've already got one called upload i'm going to go properties copy this location path right here click ok and we're going to go back to this document and paste that location path right in here and that's just uh, basically telling the image server where the upload directory is on our server so next we need to do that for a bunch of other stuff here which is the database of course without the database it's not going to work properly so again right click on the db folder which you can create yourself and then go back create the path and paste it inside here like so and once you've done that that's the database location sorted out you're going to need to change obviously this database username and password all of this information here needs to be changed because otherwise it's going to be default and you don't want to do that because you need to have something more secure so here we do have some other folders in which i can delete i was following another guide but you had to pay for that file when i found a free version online which is what i'm showing you right now so some of those file directories we could remove so next we need to get the database password right here you can see it's set to this right here and you would obviously want to change this to something that's more suitable for you once you've done that go down to actions and then click on this to deploy the stack that we've just edited here so once we've done this this is going to deploy our image server and then it will start to work so let that do its thing once completed you'll see success and it will bring you to this screen right here this is our stack list and you can see we have our one that we just created called image and we can now take a look at that by clicking on this right here and this will show us the settings of our image uh, stack that we just created here and you can see that it's starting to say the image underscore server is starting up and it's starting to uh, start the server for us and there is a bunch of other stuff on there as well so what we're going to do is leave this uh, doing its thing and we can then go to the ip address and sign in for the very first time and we can log into our image uh, photo and video server so let's go ahead and set this up and you should see something looking like this welcome to image get started and all we need to do now is we can click on get started now look at the ip address up the top that is the ip address for my server yours might be different and the port number is there as well now just set up your admin registration an admin email admin password and username and basically now sign in to your image server for the very first time once you've created all of that and there we go we got the welcome screen and all we need to do now is choose our theme you can either go light or dark mode here so let's uh, have a look so i'll leave it on dark and go to privacy change all your privacy settings right here if you want to show the map feature relies on external uh, tile service and you can also do your version check if you want to you can turn these off if you don't want them on and we can now move on to the next option and once we've done this we should have access to our main uh, image server now we can click on done and there we go we are now at our server where we can upload all of our content and depending on how much data you have available on your server will determine how much data you can upload to your photo and video you can create your own libraries here uh, you can put people's names in so for instance here i've got two images stock images i can upload these right here and you can even give them names like john and sally and it will basically know every time you upload images with their faces it's going to know that's john and sally and it can put them into categories with their own photos you can explore share and have your favorites create albums and things like that you can even archive and trash stuff 
It's your server. You do whatever you like with it. No one's going to be able to see it unless you share it. And it's on your local network. You can share that just about anywhere in your home network and even outside if you wanted to. If you wanted to share that with friends and family, they can upload photos and stuff there as well. So you just create albums and stuff. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here because it is pretty much self-explanatory. You can just create an album here. Most recent right here most recent photos group of the year select your photos and you can obviously set it all out the way you like once you've uploaded all your photos it's a very decent uh, application it's free and saves you money anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support have a lovely weekend and i'll catch you in the next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat links in the video description bye for now